If money can get them power, fine. But whatever it is, it's about power, holding on to power, and using power to get more power. Yep. All right, my friend. Thank you for your call. We'll be right back. Mark Lovin. The founder of CT Shirts made a remarkable statement. You know what he said? There's no point in making the finest shirt in the world if you charge a fortune for it. And, of course, he's right. CT shirts are British styled from exceptionally smooth, non-iron cotton. They come in your choice of colors, collar styles, sleeve lengths, and cuffs. Work a casual tie or no tie, tucked or untucked. When you arrive in a CT shirt to work, client meetings, or after work cocktails with buddies, you look totally put together. CT shirts are for guys who want to dress smartly while saving money. So let's get started. One CT shirt normally costs 100 bucks. But right now, you'll get three, three for just $99. That's 60% off. And CT shirts come with free delivery, a six-month quality guarantee, and free returns. May I repeat that? Because that's a trifecta. Free delivery, a six-month quality guarantee, and free returns. You're not going to get that in any retail store. Now, if you hurry, 99 bucks gets you three amazing CT shirts. Go to ctshirts.com slash Levin. ctshirts.com slash L-E-V-I-N. Couldn't be any easier. That's ctshirts.com slash. <coughs> Let me do it again. ctshirts.com slash Levin. All right. Let us continue. Nick, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the great WPHD. Go. Well, hi, Mark. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Um, you asked you. A re- what I think you posited as a rhetorical question. Why does it matter that we have huge trade deficits? It matters because huge trade deficits are a result of too much spending and not much, not enough saving and investment. No, internally. that's not necessarily true. You may have a lot of both. Macroeconomically, it's true. There's an equation. No, it's not. No, it's not. You may have a lot of both. When you have a dynamic economy, an economy, let me even put it to you this way. If this economy were growing even bigger and faster, we would need more imports. Given the population, given the technology and all the rest, to meet the demands within the country. doesn't mean people are saving or not saving. Now, it happens to be in this country that we don't have people who save. But it's not a dollar-for-dollar macro analysis whatsoever. Buying our debt, and then we owe money to the Chinese. Okay, buying our debt is a problem of government spending. I don't know about you, but I don't borrow anything from the Chinese. Our government borrows from the Chinese. So you're, 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 um, you're mixing up two different ideas here. With the fact that we have a huge – you don't want to be educated, do you? Personal and government spending are both spending. Yes, both but spend government debt is not personal debt. It's not from personal spending. You said at the beginning, the reason we have this huge uh, uh, imbalance in trade, so-called, is because we don't save. Then you immediately – when I said that's not true, and then you immediately switched over to the government debt and the Chinese lending money to us. You're not going to get an argument from me that the government debt is a huge problem, including a national security problem. In fact, our government won't address it. But when it comes to personal debt, it's nothing to do with it. Tariff either. All right, get out of here. I can't deal with you anymore. He's talking over me. He doesn't want to have it, this guy. I can't. Listen, you know me by now. If when I'm talking, he's still talking, what's the point? There is no point. James, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Go ahead. Hey, uh, do you hey. know the biggest problem we have with the First Amendment right now? Biggest problem we have with the First Amendment? Well, I don't know what. That we got rid of net neutrality. Oh. Okay. What is net neutrality? 
Net neutrality, at least from what I understand. Well, you just said it's the biggest problem with the First Amendment, so presumably you understand a lot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I messed up. Since what is net neutrality? Net neutrality is to have, I can access anything on the Internet without the cable uh, people uh, throttling my Internet. Throttling your Internet. Tell me, sir, we don't have net neutrality today, do we? No, we don't. But Do you go on the Internet? Yes, yes, yes. Can you afford to go on the Internet? Yes. Are there any limits to you going on the Internet? Not yet. We oh, okay. April. So this phrase net neutrality actually means government regulation of something the government doesn't regulate right now, correct? Well, not right now. Not anymore. So how is that net neutrality when the government's involved? Because... When it's involved, Should we have college neutrality, where everybody can go to college for free? You like that idea? No, sir. I think well, what's wrong with college neutrality? Because some of us don't don't need to go to college. Some of us need to be okay. white college. Some of us need. No, but to that's people. not my point. Whether some of us need to go to college or not, why isn't there college neutrality? I don't know, sir. Why isn't there medical neutrality? Well. Do you know what we mean by net neutrality? It means the government steps in and it starts telling companies that, that provide platforms, that provide hosts, that provide, you know, the mechanisms behind the cyber activity that takes play, place on the Internet, tells them what they can and cannot do. That doesn't strike me as neutral. You know what that strikes me as? China. Then you get the government in the door. And what does the government do every time it steps into the door? It abuses power. All right, young man, go back and rethink this. Ladies and gentlemen, we salute our armed forces, police officers, firefighters, and emergency personnel. We've had a spirited discussion on a number of issues today, haven't we? All right, check out Levin TV tonight, please, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Be well. When you're running a business, time is money. And you can save both with Stamps.com. You can access all of the amazing services of the post office without having to leave your own office. Print postage for any letter or any package right from your computer. You'll never underpay or overpay again, which will save you time and money that you can use to grow your business. It's so simple, so easy, and so convenient. You can create a Stamps.com account in minutes online with no equipment to lease and no long-term commitments. Then all you have to do is click, print, mail, and you're done. I use Stamps.com because my company pushes out a lot of packages. I don't have to send anyone to the post office. Stamps.com lets us keep going without losing a beat. And right now, you too can enjoy the Stamps.com service with a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus postage and a digital scale. Go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in Bunker. That's Stamps.com. Enter 